Hi guys, in today's video, we're going through the five things we love about our new Audi Q5. I'm gonna do five things we hate as well, so stay tuned for that one. But yeah, let's get straight into number five, the fifth most loved thing about this car. So number one's the best, number five's the worst. Right, let's go. Right guys, I apologize for the wind. My camera died and lost all the footage, everything I filmed. Although obviously you don't know that because I'm filming the first bit. Anyway, so at number five, our fifth most loved thing about this car is the seats. These seats are so comfy. Like it's surprising. I'm not a leather seat lover. I am like, I've always had cloth or cloth and Alcantara, like half and half seats. But these leather seats are one, so comfy, but also having heated seats. So in the winter, then it, when they're cold, you turn it on. And I know they have leather have that historic, like, oh, they get really hot in the summer. But unless you're parked in direct sunlight, that doesn't really work. So honestly, these seats are, oh, they're so comfy. They're so, they've got such good wear and tear as well, because they're leather. Considering, you know, technically they've done 140,000 miles worth of sitting, they literally look brand new. Yeah, look, so there's literally no marks on like, the bolsters. There's slight, like, leather sag almost, but the seats themselves are absolutely immaculate, really, like, considering. But yeah, so our fifth most loved thing is definitely the seats. They're so good, so comfy, and cool in the summer, unless you park directly in sunlight, and they can be warm in the winter. Our fourth most loved thing is how spacious the car is. So, when you get in the car, just how much space there is from like you to the passenger. Like this center console is like, it's not massive, but it's just so good. Like it gives, it gives you as the person like so much space just to like, you know, be. <laughs> but yeah, really it is how spacious the car is. Like in the front and in the back. So you can be a fully grown sort of six foot adult in the front and still have another six foot person in the back. So just how big and sort of square the car is. Like because it's an SUV, you have nice high roofs. You have a lot of boot space, a lot of like just general space because it is an SUV. So yeah, how spacious this car is, it's definitely our fourth most loved thing. It, it's so nice having so much room that you can just sort of, yeah, just sit nicely and normally. Our third most loved thing about this car, sorry for the wind, I hope it's not too bad, is that how comfy it is. The combination of the SE luxury suspension with the fat sidewall tires and these comfy seats means you literally could do like a thousand miles in it in a day and not even feed it. Like it's just so comfortable. You can, yeah, you sit in it and you just relax for the entire journey. You know, you set the cruise control on the motorway and really it doesn't even feel like you're moving. You just sat in a nice comfy seat. So yeah, definitely one of the best things about this car or the third best thing is that how comfy the suspension and the tire combo with the seat it is. It's just so lovely. I know the S lines are slightly sportier. So if you don't like, like body roll, like it doesn't have a lot of body roll, but Compared to the S-Line, it will have slightly more body roll. So if you do want slightly sportier suspension, I'd go for an S-Line. But the SE Luxury sort of suspension is lovely and it's so comfortable. Our second, second most loved thing about this car is the push start function. Cause it's just, it's just so cool and modern. I know a lot of cars do have that in like keyless entry and stuff like that now. But for us having it, like just being able to go boop, and start the car, it's just so nice. Like it's just so easy. I know it's not really a lot, you know, it's not a big change to anything else, but it's just that option that you can have, just be like, just so good, it's so good. And also the electronic handbrake. This, it, it's weird because initially we we're like, oh, I don't know if I'm gonna like it. It's so handy having electronic handbrake. One, it's just cool, because it's just a little button. So if you ever, you know, pull up, wanna do a hill start, you just pull it on, and then rather than faffing about trying to find the biting point, you literally just pull away, it takes itself off, and boom, you've smashed the hill start, it's so easy. So yeah, being able to just like, put the handbrake on, pull away, it's just so nice and easy, rather than like, oh, tease it, and then, you know, do a hill start. And also just putting it on, just lifting a button, rather than, oh, he can ha handbrake every time. I mean, I'm not saying it's specifically a lot of effort, but it's the thing that you notice like daily, where you're just like, oh, it's just so nice, just being able to press a button, or take the handbrake off by like, oh, that simple. Lovely, yeah. So the second most loved thing is definitely like the electronic handbrake and the push start function. They are very cool, very modern. And in such an old, I say such an old car, it is, you know, 12 years old, 13 years old. To have push start, electronic handbrake, it is really nice. So our most loved thing, our number one most loved thing about this car is definitely the electronic boot. That is so cool, so easy. And obviously you can fit so much stuff in it. Like right now we have bedding and a jumper and a balloon. Uh, helium balloon thing but yeah you could easily fit 
a German Shepherd, German Shepherd, German Shepherd. So just the size of the boot's good. But being able to just press a button and shut the boot, it's so underrated how nice and easy it makes life. Like you come up to the boot with loads of shopping, you press the button, look, I'll get the, I'll get the key. You get the key, you're walking up to your car with a bunch of shopping, you hold the boot button. That's just so nice. Like that is such an underrated cool little flex, being able to just open the boot. You can't shut it from the key, which would be cool, but just press a button. That's just so nice and easy. So yeah, for definite, our number one most liked thing about this car is the electric boot. That is so cool, it's so functional. I apologize for the wind, it has been really bad, but hopefully it's it's watchable. Our most loved thing about this car is definitely the electronic boot. Thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.